Ahoy! Crit in Wonderlands is currently bugged. And I accidentally found this out while I was trying to test things for the Stabomancer. Now, crit is not quite as some people think it is in Wonderlands. So for example, if you see an extra 30% melee crit chance as on this item, it doesn't just straight up give you 30% if you look into the skill tree here. So if you're looking at this crit chance, it wouldn't go up to 35% for melee specifically. Unfortunately, this is bugged, so I can't say I have to hover over it. But right now it's 5.3%. And extra crit chance is multiplicative, so that would mean uh, that I would get an extra 30% on that 5.3% that I have. We don't need to go super deep into math here, because the formula is really easy, to be honest. After doing some rough numbers with this, I also had a look at another YouTube channel. Lazy Data has already made a video on crit chance, and his formula is pretty much that. It's base crit chance plus item base crit times 1 plus all other crit factors. So nothing really complex, but things aren't really working as intended. And in order to show you that, we have to do a few things. So keep this in mind, this is our 5.1 starting point, uh, factoring in the one point in dexterity here that I can't take out, that's just my class, and everything else is just set as default. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get our second class, and that's gonna be Stabomancer, of course, because we wanna get more crit chats. With the Stabomancer, we now have Dirty Fighting, which gives us an increased critical hit chance by 30%. Now, what you'll notice is if we go in here, nothing changes. That's because every time you want this to be updated, you have to relog. So that's what we're going to do right now. You have to go to the main menu and come back. Looking at stats now, we're at 6.6% .6 crit chance, and that is exactly what we would expect at this point as well, because we don't have any extra Stabomancer power. We just have the base 30%. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to equip some class mods that will up my crit chance. So here we have a nice one. It has 30% stabomancer power, so that's going to be a lot of crit chance. And we actually have a lot of gun crit chance and ability crit chance on this as well. So we can really see how maxed out the crit chance can get on those individual things too. We're going to equip that. And we're also going to equip a weapon with a high crit chance in order to see how it changes on a melee weapon. So you can see this has a 19% base crit chance, so that 20% crit chance modified on there. So this should be a very good starting point. So we can really see how far we can ramp up the crit chance on some things. Let's do lock and see what happens. All right, we now have 30% stabomancer power. That's another 30% crit chance. And we also have some extra crit chance on the different weapons here. You can see, for example, our gun critical hit chance is now 8.6% because of the extra crit chance we have there. And the melee crit chance is much, much higher. That's because the base value of our weapon here has a high crit chance. It's uh, at 19%. So that gets multiplied by every other factor that we have so far as well. So it's now sitting at 34%, which is obviously quite a lot more than the other stuff we have here. But here's the problem. We're now at 7% crit chance, but we shouldn't be. Based on the numbers, we should now have a total of 60% extra crit chance from the server master power, the 30% base and the 30% from having the class mod. And if we multiply that with our base factor, we should end up with 8.1% critical hit chance. Now, obviously, again, different weapons have different additional effects, but it shouldn't be as low as 7%. It doesn't add up with the stats that we have so far. And that's just for the Stabomancer specifically. We'll get to more in just a bit. Next, we're going to equip another piece of Stabomancer gear with another 25% Stabomancer power. And then we're going to relock again. Our Stabomancer power is now at 55%, so another 25% extra crit chance. Again, working as intended. The result, 7.4% crit chance. This number again doesn't make sense. We should be at 85% crit chance from the Stabomancer perk, partially from the base crit chance and partially from the extra crit chance we have from items, but we are nowhere near that. We're basically 2% crit off from what we should be having at this point. And that's still pretty low, to be honest, overall. But it isn't just the Stabomancer crit chance that's bugged, and that's where the dexterity comes in. So let's have a look what happens here. If we invest points into the crit chance here, just go all the way up with dexterity, should end up with 42% crit chance. We're going to confirm that. See? And we will notice that here, our crit chance has actually gone up to 9.4%. This again doesn't make sense. At this point, we should have 11.35% crit chance between what we get from the Stabomancer power and from the extra dexterity. 
Now the gap here is the same as it was before, so this part seems to be something related to the Stabomancer power and not to the Dexterity itself. I think the Dexterity itself might actually be scaling right, it just for some reason assumes that we only have 46% crit chance from the Stabomancer perk and that's including the base 30% crit chance, so for some reason we're only getting an extra 16% from this or something. So we're literally getting less than is displayed here and the 30% is not factored in. The 30% is the only part that actually works properly though, so yeah. Stabomancer perk in itself just not working properly, just not providing enough crit chance. But Dexterity is also broken and I'm going to show you just that right now. So I just relogged, and now look at this. It is down to 7.4%. The Dexterity bonus is no longer factored in, it's just the same crit chance that we had before that was the case. I don't know if this is just a visual issue and it's actually factored in, but it's not uncommon for games to basically forget certain attributes that you've invested into once you relog, and this is probably one of those cases. So yeah, you're basically around 4% crit chance short here. And I would say that's a pretty massive difference for a class like the Stabomancer that heavily relies on crit chance, but it's obviously also frustrating for everyone else because you're taking away a lot of crit chance, which is especially important on weapons that have higher crit chances by default, so they scale better with crit. But keep in mind that the Stabomancer also has important perks that scale with having a lot of crits, like Executioner's Blade, for example, or Thousand Cuts. I originally thought that the From the Shadows skill would be kind of useless if you get such high crit chances from the skills themselves, uh, but you don't really. Like, not only do you only get a multiplier from it, which is significantly lower than I expected, I thought you just get a flat 30% crit chance on everything. On top of that, the multiplier also doesn't work properly, and your other crit chance multiplier also doesn't work properly. So really, the only thing that at the end of the day is a big deal when it comes to crit chance is the number that you get on melee weapons right here. Or sometimes on spells as well. Spells with bonus crit chance can have ridiculous extra amounts, like above 50% sometimes. I'm going to show you this real quick just so you see the difference. So this is a 3% crit chance weapon here, and doesn't have any other multipliers. And you'll see the occasion crit here. Don't look at the crits at the bottom, those are just from the dots. You can look at the ones at the top. You'll see like most of the hits here are not crits. There are occasional crits, like one every tenth or so will be a crit, but that's about it. Now, if we take the weapon that I was holding before with an insanely high crit chance, which is usually the, the Kamas especially, then this will look a lot different. See, we got uh, two crits right at the start there, another crit here, another crit here. So this is going to constantly crit. So really, if you're looking for a crit build, if you're going for a crit build, you kind of have to avoid half of the melee weapons. Because the... Well, I'd say around 13% is when it gets okay. 11% is sometimes okay too. These are like the weapons, the legendaries that have other perks that make them justifiable. Uh, but especially something like uh, the bonk weapons often have very, very low crit chances. And uh, basically at this point I'm ditching everything that's not particularly great in some regard uh, and not like at least close to 10% crit chance or higher. Obviously the higher you go, the better it gets. Uh, but really otherwise, especially with a Stabomancer, you're not getting enough benefit out of all these crit perks, in my opinion. Obviously with ranged weapons is less of a problem because you can just go for headshots, uh, makes everything a lot easier. But not every enemy can be easily crit shot constantly. Uh, in those situations, you kind of want to have other crit perks in order to apply all your extra effects that you have down here in the Stabomancer tree because everything just wants you to crit somehow uh, and it gets, gives you extra damage for crits and whatnot. So yeah, it's, it's a skill tree that's working around crit, but the crit's not really working and crit in the game itself is also not really working. I'm not entirely sure if the myth rank bonus crit effects are working. Uh, I would assume they are because they seem to work more closely to the item perks uh, that you get like from, from this one here, for example, the extra gun crit chance and stuff like that. Those seem to be working better at least. But generally speaking, you'll see a lot less crits than you should be, at least according to the stats. Now these stats could be all wrong, maybe in-game it's actually working as intended. That is very, very hard to test and very hard to tell, uh, but my bet would be that's probably not. So if you're planning to play Stabomancer, From the Shadows might actually be something worth investing into, and with other classes it's really worth strongly considering how much value you get out of investing heavily into crit. There are merits to it, again, like there's some spells especially that have insane crit chances uh, where it, it can absolutely be worth going for with more crit. Uh, one that I'd like to point out here is the Jagged Twister, when you have extra crit chance on that, again, it goes above 50%. So with those ones, yeah, 
you have reason to use them. But there are also quite a few uh, situations where you're just better off having more health or more shield or whatever else you can get instead. Now, if you want to know more about the Stabomancer, in the next days, I will also look into the movement part, especially into swift death here. Uh, if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell, because that is something I will go through very, very soon uh, and give you all the details on how exactly that works and if it's worth it, in my opinion. And then we'll look at the Berserker as well and all that other stuff. So yeah, if Wonderland's in-depth mechanic stuff is something you're interested in, then please consider sticking around. Also, let me know in the comment what classes you are running, if you're going for crit builds or not. I'm very curious how many of you <laughs> will switch off crit builds right now, or maybe were not on crit builds in the first place. And I hope to see you for the next one soon. Duke Sloth, out.